This is a video that I felt I should have been done a while ago, but it really wasn't of any importance to me um, at the time. But when I got to really talking about Black Panther and whatnot constantly over and over again, and we know that it's a Marvel property and that Disney owns Marvel, a lot of people say, well, all that money is going back to Disney, so we really didn't benefit much off of it. And that is true. But I said, you know what? I wanted to know for certain the sure. What entities does Disney own? As we all know, Disney started off as a really kid-friendly thing. But Disney has become the second largest conglomerate behind Comcast in the world. Raking in hundreds of billions of dollars per year. Now, and the thing is, I don't like Wikipedia, but Wikipedia was the only website that brought up the entire list that I could find. And they brought up the entire list and broke it all the way down. So I don't know how long this video is going to be, because I really want y'all to see exactly what is under the umbrella of Disney and what exactly is lining that mouse's pockets. So this is, of course, from Wikipedia. It says, list of assets owned by Disney. It says a list of assets owned by the Walt Disney Company, which is the world's second largest media conglomerate in terms of revenue after Comcast. The following are wholly owned and operated by Disney unless otherwise indicated. Um, that's just corporate information right there. Uh, Walt Disney Studios. Production, Walt Disney Pictures, Disney Nature Animation, Animation Studios, Disney Toon Studios, Pixar Animation. Uh, y'all should be familiar with Pixar. I don't have to give y'all any examples of what movies they made. Um, Lucas Films, that's basically Star Wars. J um, George Lucas does not own the Star Wars brand anymore. He just owns Lucas Films, so he will always get a cut every time a Star Wars type movie is made. He just doesn't get a huge cut like he used to. And all the other Lucas stuff that comes under it. So if they make any Star Wars games and has that Lucas Arts logo, Disney gets a cut from that. Of course, Marvel Studios. I don't have to go into too complete detail about that. Y'all know what that is. Um, distribution. Walt Disney Studio Motion Pictures. Touchstone Pictures. Walt Disney Studios Marketing. Buena Vista the um, Theater. Disney Music Group. Hollywood Records. And this is all their music um, groups that they own. Uh, Disney Theatrical Group, uh, Disney Studio Services, Disney Consumer Products and Interactive Media, Disney Retail, because y'all know that, you remember back then in the day when you used to go to the store and they had, like, to the mall and they would have that big Disney store, of course, you know, that's owned by them, Disney Game and Apps, uh, let's see, different, um, websites, Core Publishing, uh, Publishing Worldwide, Walt Disney Parks and Resorts. Of course, you have Disney World and Disneyland. Let's see, Disneyland Resort, Walt Disney World Resort, and all its entities. And these are all in alphabetical order, by the way. Disneyland Paris. Let's see. Forgive it if it feels like my screen is taking, like, keeps freezing up a little bit. I guess it's so much information that it can't uh, comprehend all at once. Hong Kong International Theme Park, Shanghai Disney Resort. This is new vacation operations. Uh, of course, their cruise line, the Disney Cruise Line. Disney Media Networks, ABC. Disney owns one of the one of the biggest primetime networks. The big primetime network networks are ABC, NBC. ABC, NBC, CBS, and Fox. And I think ABC is one of the big six companies, or maybe it's Disney that's one of the big six companies, and all of its entities that's falling under ABC. So you have Hulu, NBC Universal, 21st Century Fox, and Time Warner, uh, A&E Networks, Lifetime Net, the Lifetime uh, Entertainment Services, like the Lifetime Network, History Network, uh, uh, let's see what else they have in here. ABC Entertainment Group, ABC Family Worldwide, which um that new channel Freeform, which used to be ABC Family, falls under, 
ABC owned television stations and they have Chicago, Fresno, Houston, Los Angeles, New York, Philadelphia, Raleigh, Durham, San Francisco, California. Disney Channel Worldwide, of course, Disney Channel, Disney XD, Disney Junior, Radio Disney, ESPN and all of its networks. Every last um, pretty much network. Well, it says Disney owns 80 percent of them. So that leaves 20 percent that they probably haven't grabbed up yet. But they pretty much own all of that. Discovery Channel, Animal Planet, uh, Marvel Entertainment. Um, we don't, like I said, we don't have to really break that down. We know what that is. Then they have their international market. He says the Walt Disney Company, Latin America, Germany, uh, Walt Disney Japan, uh, and all their parks there. India, um, Iberia, and then it says this is other Times Square Studios. I'm just reading random places off. Uh, Damn, I didn't even know Disney had a realty, but hey, there's money made in real in real estate. Well, it would, it would make sense though. Then they have their own financial company. That this is Venture Capital. I didn't know they, oh, GoPro. I didn't know they own GoPro, which is that little camera. Uh, I heard a photo bucket. I used to use that a lot. <laughs> they got Chinese holdings, unsorted. Uh, what else do they have going on? And these are the former assets. Now, what's interesting is under former assets, it's not that many that they sold compared to how much they own now. I didn't know that they own, that they sold Oxygen Media, but it says part owner, so they still they don't own the whole thing, but they still own some of it, and they still own some of E, the E Network or Entertainment Network. Um, I remember this one, the, the Deke um, Entertainment, which was basically geared toward kids. Um, let's see here. And these is just like other um, networks that they own as well. It's a reason why I pulled all of this up. Reason being that a lot of people will say that, oh, I'm not going to support this and that because it's owned and ran by Disney. But I wanted you to see a full scope of the stuff that Disney owns. Now, I want y'all to write down in the comments. What did you know that Disney owned based on what I showed? And what didn't you know Disney owned based on the list that I just showed you? And if it was moving too fast, just replay the video and go as slow as possible. It's just that I would have been spending probably a good 30 minutes reading every last thing on this list. And the thing is, the Disney brand keeps growing and growing every single day. This is not, Disney is not just a corporation, it's a conglomerate. A conglomerate is basically a company that started off small and it expanded over and over and over and over many, many, many times over the course of many, many years. Conglomerate versus corporation, you can pretty much guess which will win in a competition. And it says it's only second behind Comcast. And notice it said list of assets, not list of liabilities. Assets meaning what's going to bring them in revenue. Liabilities mean Disney would be flat broke. They would, they would have probably been filed for bankruptcy years ago. And as you can see, they probably had way more successes than they've had failures. The failures meaning the ones they probably had to sell off because they realized they weren't working. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments.